Welcome to the 2023 Bishop Mac Football Banquet. Um, you guys, we're gonna be here for a little bit. We're gonna do some food, we're gonna do some awards. As you saw, we just saw some highlights of a really epic season. I don't know about you guys, but I'm literally stopped by people my age who remember when Bishop Mac won in the 80s and they won all the time and they haven't won a D10 since. And they tell me all the time what a special team this is, just like Coach Shoniker always says. This is a great special team. You guys need to understand that this is really epic. First time in 37 years to win the District 10 Championship. And you can see the plaque right over there. <laughs> First of all, I just wanna say uh, welcome to you guys. Didn't get a chance to say hi to you all yet. I miss you guys. Uh, I can't tell you how much I miss you. It does my heart good to see all your faces. Uh, as most of you who were here last year, you probably heard me say this, is uh, although we're, this is an awards banquet, we all know that football is the ultimate team sport. So personally, I don't like individual awards because this is not an individual sport. The most important award here tonight is that one right there. Really, to me, that's the only one that matters and everybody in this room is equally responsible for that award. Okay, so let me get that off right off the hop. Um, we're going to start. We obviously had a real good year. Uh, thanks to you guys and thanks to the effort you all put in. I can't tell you how much we all appreciate it. Because we had a good year, we had a bunch of all-stars, D10 all-stars. We're going to start by acknowledging those players. The next award that's going to be announced is going to be our Junior Coach Award. Um, this award goes out to somebody who um, day in and day out we counted on uh, to assist us with running drills. Um, prior to the season we did a little bit of off-season training. This individual helped us not only offensively but defensively and when he switched to defensive back he also ran the drills there. Um, absolute uh, gem of a guy and a very big help to me in my offense and to pros on the defense. Junior Coach Award goes to Philip Oates. This year was just amazing, like from, from pre-camps, pre like in, I would say, fall last year, like spring, summer, all of us would get out, the receivers especially. Like all, all the young ones came out, like kept, kept me motivated, Seth, Coconut, all of them. Everyone at practice came out daily. Like we had everyone there and just, just an amazing group. Everyone was dedicated to it. Everyone knew what we wanted at the end and we all came together and brought, brought home. He makes the catch and battles his way to the 14 yard line. It's Aya Coconut Oats to save the season. Uh, rookie of the year, he was one of my DBs. Uh, almost, he's good too, but um, George. For me, the best part about being a Celtic was that I got to come to the field every day with my brothers, and it's just a lot of fun, you know. All the coaches, thanks especially to Coach Shoniker, Coach Frank, Coach Perozo, you know, couldn't have done any of that without them. And yeah, it's just so much fun getting better with my brothers. I think the most special part about this group is that we were just so close, not only on the field, but also off the field, you know. Before every game, every week, we came into the cafeteria, we had dinner together, we talked, you know, and we just so tightly knit and we bonded together. The next award we're gonna give out is the most improved player. And the uh, person that gets this is someone who I gave a lot of crap to throughout the year, just because I knew the potential that was in him all year long and uh, he really did show it by the end of the year and became one of our most dominant players, a guy, a guy we counted on and a guy quite frankly we wouldn't have that without. Uh, so the most improved player is Brady Curtis. With the people on this team and how we come together, like personally, I think no other team stood a chance. Even Centennial, none of them. But yeah, I just think it's been a great season, and I'm happy to play beside the people I do. Just working with the D line and uh, 
the different coaches we have here. We have a pretty good coaching staff this year, pretty great. And Julie and everybody really helps us out. And yeah, just working with them and scrimmaging against like good guys makes you better too. This is the Golden Boot Award. I probably don't even really have to announce who's getting that. This kid is money. He drills it from 24 yards out. Grebe with a field goal. He makes it 9-7 Celtics after three quarters. But that's going to my man, Dimitri. Dimitri, come on up here, buddy. The team was so close together, it was like a family to me and like being it like introducing a new sport to me, I found it overwhelming to like be this close with other different people at a different sport and it was just like very fun in general. It was a great season for us. I was introduced to football by my friends. They encouraged me to play kicker to begin with and I was very welcomed as the only kicker and they supported me throughout the journey and I just started practicing on the field and there we go, the season was there. So I just kind of walked into the field and there it was. We have an award for, for someone who shows a lot of sportsmanship. Um, the, the award is a person that's not actually here tonight, but I'm going to uh, announce it anyway. It's someone who uh, we put in a lot of different positions just because we needed to do a lot, and it's Bobby, Bobby Chilisanis. <laughs> this one is kind of, I'm going to give this one away be kind of selfish and give this away because this one's kind of special to me. Uh, we call this one the Legacy Award and this is for someone who has given a lot to this program. To make this program, and it's, it's typically given to someone who's been from this program right from JV right to grade 12 or grade 12 plus. In this case, this player wasn't here in grade 9, but the contributions he gave to this program, uh, I can't tell you how much it meant to me personally. I'm gonna tell you, when I took over as head coach of this program, this guy was one of the ones, the guys that I want. He was actually at a different high school, and I wanted him to come to this high school because I really wanted to coach him. I really wanted to build this team around his personality and his effort and his determination. And that's Ryan Wolf. Three years that I went to BM, you know, they're great. I was happy that, you know, me, Marco, Sam, we were all able to work together towards the championship. And my final year, I was able to end up winning D10 and, you know, happy celebrating it today. It was a long time coming. Uh, I mean, guys helped me along the way. You know, obviously I'm uh, appreciative of winning that award. And, you know, I was happy to end uh, my career on a good note here at BM. And, uh, you know, all the best to them in the future and, you know, moving on to bigger and better things. But, uh, yeah, it's really cool to win the award. Watch number five for BMAC. That's Ryan Wolfie breaks through and brings down the running back. Nice play there from the future, Guelph Griffin. This next one's Defensive Player of the Year. Um, he's, again, not here tonight, but uh, it's Marco Piccioni. He's a leader on our defense. And even when he got that, one thing that stands out to me about Marco is even when he got that targeting call, and he couldn't show up to the championship. Um, you know, he was always with us. He was on, he was coaching us. He was running uh, as a skill player like LeShook. Uh, yeah, he's always here for us and he's a good leader. Uh, so it's to Marco. They have pressure on Miller Wedding. His pass is picked off by Marco Piccioni. And how about this? Piccioni is a clear lane to the end zone. It's a pick six for the first touchdown of the game. Bishop McDonnell jumping out to a 10-0 lead. I've coached all three in the family. Um, an absolute pleasure to coach. The very youngest. I remember shaking his hand in this school um, a long time ago uh, at a field when he was playing for his older brothers, we're, we're playing for the Lions. Um, our Offensive Player of the Year this year um, was counted on to a whole lot of stuff. Uh, he had a very special game wearing 66. Um, he dominated all over the field. Even though he was hurt, he's one of the reasons why we have a plaque over in the corner. And I guarantee you, if he would have been playing in that championship game against Assumption, we'd be off the champs right now. 
Um, unfortunately, he got hurt. Um, but our Offensive Player of the Year is the most dominant player in the league this year, Sam Shoniker. Obviously, it was a great season. Um, this is obviously my last season here, and that was probably the last season my dad was going to coach me. So it's something special that we get that win and win the championship G10. And obviously, it's special to win this with this team because I've been here since grade nine. We didn't have football in grade nine, but grade 10, I've been building, building it and watching every year. We improved, and to do it with this team we had, a lot of grade 12s, a lot of people I've been going to school with for a long time, that we were able to get this championship. It means a lot. Obviously, we're just such a tight group, so everything was on point. Whenever we went out and did a play, we've done it a million times, so we were able to perform, and we were just a brotherhood. We were so connected that it was so easy. We're on the same page all the time. Before we end this, it's super important that we all know the one person that this program does not exist without is Julie. So Julie, from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much because I know for a fact, as I've said it a few times, there's a lot of people that contribute to this, but we wouldn't have a football program, let alone a championship, if not for you. Um, I wouldn't be coaching football if not for you. Uh, all these guys would not be playing Bishop Mac football if not for you. So please, everybody, Stand up, give Julie a round of applause, because we're not here without him. Okay, that's about it. I just want to say, um, I can't tell you guys how much, again, it's great to see you guys. Um, hopefully this is not gonna be goodbye to you guys. I, hopefully I will be around and see you again. I want to tell you, how good it makes my heart feel every time I look at my Instagram and I see somebody committing to play somewhere in the spring. Fellas, I can't tell you how good that is because as well as, as much as we love winning championships and winning football games, it's our goal as a coaching staff to get you guys playing football. Um, in high school, in the spring, and hopefully beyond at the next level. Team 13 is the final. Bishop Mack wins the D10 title for the first time in 36 years. We had it in our hearts before this game. We knew what we came here to do. We played for, like Marco, who wasn't able to play, and we knew he would do everything he could to get on this field, but he couldn't. Sam and Marco, this is all, all for them. They, they put their whole heart and soul into this game. The coaches, too. Man, we're a brotherhood. We, we, we're all united by one goal, you know? We're so close. Like, anything happens, like, with one of us, all of our brothers are there. Once again, it's third down. Alex Iacocca is back to pass. And look out! There is Seth Nelson for one of the biggest catches in Celtics history. He's got it for a touchdown with 53 seconds to go. I think Seth Nelson played his best game this game. And big shout out to Demi with three field goals. We just went out there and we balled out. We did what we did. We did what we preached all year. You know, down by three, go to kick the field goal. Hey, <laughs> let's go, Julie. Yeah!